confused of day, specifically something that's come up in Alabama. The Supreme Court there said that embryos created through IVF are considered children and are offered those same protections. Do you agree? I mean, I think, I mean, embryos to me are babies. So, I even mean, those created through IVF. I mean, I had artificial insemination. Yeah. That's how I had my son. So when you look at, you know, one thing is to have, um, to save sperm or to save eggs, but when you talk about an embryo, you are talking about, to me, um, that's a life. And so I do see where that's coming from when they talk about that. Do you have concerns about the way that that could hurt people who are seeking IVF treatment? I think that we have to have those conversations. That's incredibly personal. It's incredibly sensitive. And I think that's the conversation the doctor needs to have with the patient. Let's never underestimate the importance of the relationship between a doctor and patient when they're doing any of that. We, Michael and I, had those conversations. And when you have those conversations and you have that artificial insemination, you talk about, I mean, you limit the number well, that you there's viable exert. embryos and not viable embryos. And if the state is saying that not viable ones can't be done away with. But I mean, those are the things we have to look at, right? So you have to be, this is one where we need to be incredibly respectful and sensitive about it. I know that when my doctor came in, we knew what was possible and what wasn't. We also took precaution, precautions of how this was going to go and how it wasn't. So we knew before we went in exactly what we were looking at. Every woman needs to know with her partner what she's looking at. And then when you look at that, then you make the decisions that's best for your family. Just one more question, because I want to make sure I understand. Wouldn't legislation like that have a chilling effect on what's possible for families? I mean, I haven't seen any legislation yet. Well, so the kind that they're pushing in Alabama says so that frozen embryos are protected as lives, unborn lives. I mean, I would want to look at it and see what they're talking about, those that were viable versus those that are not, how they're treating that, how they're talking about that language. Those are all sensitive subjects where the details matter. And we need to look at the details, and we need to see where that is. I mean, now when you see more women who are having trouble getting pregnant, yeah. and you see more women doing artificial and in vitro, those are conversations conversations that we need to have, but it's also conversations where we need to have women and doctors involved in the conversation to say how do we want to